it's uh, week one and two days, I think. Um, Dylan's here sleeping peacefully beside me, and I am in what feels like my constant position. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, this is generally where I feed him during the day. And I'm all set up. It's amazing how thirsty I am all of the time. So I have a glass of water here all the time. And then I have my trusty sheets with all the wet nappies, dirty nappies, the times of the feeds. Um, so yeah, I'm probably a little OTT about it now, to be honest. But uh, at the start, I thought it was good to keep a good note track of it. Um, and I suppose, you know, despite the fact that, you know, maybe the birth, I didn't have a natural birth and that was something I'd hoped for and, you know, but the one thing through the, throughout the whole pregnancy, the one thing that was so important to me was to be able to breastfeed him. And I've been so lucky. Um, it has gone so well. Um, from the get-go, he was just so brilliant. Like, after when they took me out of the um, theater and into kind of that recovery room, um, you know, like he literally latched on straight away. I swear, he's a little pro. He knew what he was doing better than I did. Um, but I have, you know, no doubt whatsoever that I would have, you know, I would definitely not have been successful if it wasn't for Claire Boyle and for her class. And I really can't thank her enough. She just empowered me with all these tools so I knew I knew what to look for I knew how to know I knew what to look for from regards to latch I knew what told me if he was getting enough and um, I knew it wasn't meant to hurt badly so if it was that I needed to check on his latch and Alan knew so he was helping me check and you know at the start I suppose I was definitely nervous I wasn't I was so scared holding him and all of that but I suppose with time my confidence grew and you know I had Claire's book with me or her brochure so I was checking it all the time and reminding myself but definitely you know without doubt the preparation and the confidence that class gave me is what allowed me to be successful I believe and, and I absolutely couldn't recommend Claire's class or Claire herself high, highly enough she is absolutely fabulous. It's hard to believe that this day two weeks ago was kind of when it all started going into labour, etc. And it's so nice to have it over me. Um, and I suppose one of the things maybe that I'm really am grateful for is, um, you know, I gained two st stone during the pregnancy, but, um, you know, I think, you know, that was kind of, a, it was in the healthy weight gain range and I think that was something that was important to me. I know last week my first kind of real um, outing I was so terrified that he was going to wake up. First of all I was terrified it was going to rain and how was I going to get the rain cover on and then I was terrified he was going to wake up and have to be fed and where would I feed him and that's something I suppose that I've realised like I, I, like I was going up to say uh, the supermarket close to me um, and next and a few bits and um, I, I just thought oh my god like if I have to feed him where will I feed him because I still don't think I'd be very comfortable feeding him in public um, but thankfully he um, he stayed asleep um, but yes they, they're kind of maybe some of the challenges that, that I have now it's uh, figuring out you know how I'm going to manage that even when people come visit you know if I have to feed him, how does that all go down? Because, you know, definitely people are not comfortable and I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable either. So, but at the same time, he has to be fed. So it's just trying to balance that line, isn't it? From the breastfeeding point of view, definitely my family, my mother has been really supportive and, you know, she didn't breastfeed me, you know, but I had given her a book to read before and she read that book and I think that really helped her kind of clue into what I was thinking. I thought that would really help. Um, and my own friends, who have have breastfed as well so they've been huge hugely helpful I think in general you know the hard thing is I think um it's like when I go out like I've taken him out for walks and things and I went up to say supermarket and I was terrified he'd wake up and I'd have to feed him because what would I do like I'm still not really comfortable feeding him in public or 
you know, and I don't feel it's socially acceptable to do that, you know, so I, that kind of stresses me out a little bit. I think on the whole people are supportive, but I, I don't know how to describe it. Sometimes kind of people think it's like you have a little note, you have a notion that you're going to try this for a while and how long you're going to do it for. And, you know, it, it's a, it's a no brainer for me that this is what I want to do. I don't know how long I'm going to do it for. I mean, before I, before I, I started, I thought I'd like to do it for six months. If I got to that, I'd be delighted. You know, I think as you do it, maybe, you know, it'll have to, I'll have to see how work will fit in with it all, but still, you know, I'm going to do it for as long as I can do it, I think, you know, um, and I've been really lucky, like he was really good latching on and I've had a really, you know, it's been, there's been hard days, you know, it's not every single thing I bought to make sure I didn't hurt. I've used, I've used the nipple shields, I've used the cold compress, the lanolin cream, you know, they've been lifesavers, I have to say. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, one of my friends said, always said, don't give up on a bad day. If you're going to stop it, just don't do it on a bad day. And I think that's a really good motto to have. But I really have never contemplated stopping yet anyway. Like that really hasn't, even on the bad days, I haven't really thought, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Because the weird thing is, I actually really enjoy it. I really like it. It's a really nice time. And I never anticipated that to happen. My whole focus for doing this was because I wanted him to get my breast milk. That was the best for him. It reduces risk of, you know, of allergies, increases immune function, reduces risk of obesity, all the health benefits he gets from it. But I never really thought about the other side of it and that I might enjoy it and that I might actually, you know, that it's a really lovely, really intimate time. And I really like, I, you know, that has been really the plus maybe as well, you know, that I do like doing it, even though some days I was like, oh God, I don't want him to latch on right now. Give me five minutes. Um, but you know, like you're always going to get that, you know, anything I suppose that's worth having is, you know, you have to work at, don't you, you know? So, um, but yeah, so it's, you know, it's still only three weeks in. 